Good afternoon. Today on DIY Solar Power with Papa, I just wanted to do a quick video on the power output we're getting in amps and volts on these used poly panels. How about well over 80 panels of these polys for an average of about 33 bucks a piece. They're used 250 watts. I bought these 330 watt for $35 a piece back in December for the Santan solar sidewalk sale. They were 35 bucks a piece for 13 each. So um, that was a pretty good deal to get a $35, 330 watt mono panel. And that thing looks brand new. And then we got these for 25 bucks a piece a month after we bought those because nobody wanted them. These are 190 watts and they were really kind of cloudy with um, calcium buildup from water that was on there. In fact, they got some uh, staining on this one over here. We're gonna do a read with the voltage and the amps. We got a couple of little spots where we have stuff on them, but just wanted to show you the, the output that I'm getting off of these panels. Right now, on the uh, on these panels, the uh, max, the open circuit voltage is 37.6 and the voltage at Pmax is 30.3. We're actually getting 33.8. So that's a really good output. Um, now, I just picked up this DC, AC DC amp meter. I don't know if you can tell on there, but it says DC in the left and it says amps A on the bottom. So the way we check this is we disconnect that and we connect the positive and the minus together and we get a loop and it's closed. So on this, it says that we should have short circuit of 8.85 amps, current at Pmax 8.27. So if we look on this, we're getting 9.9 .9 amps on that side, and we're getting nine amps out of this thing, and it's supposed to be giving us 8.85, and that's a used poly panel. <laughs> so that's a pretty good output on that. We can't complain on that. And that's why I have over 80 of these things. Now, once again, we have, we have this model panel in the middle that we paid $35 for. They're used, they look brand new. And we're getting 36.4 amps out of that and on this it says it should be 34.4 and then um, 41.3 we're getting 36 let's see what our amps are on that so connect those together temporarily and let's put our meter there is a positive and a negative side oops so we're getting almost 11 amps out of this. And we're supposed to be getting 10.24, uh, 9.6 and 10.24. And when we look at that, we're getting over 10 amps on that. <laughs> These are used panels. They're probably three to five years old. You cannot go wrong on that. That was a great deal I got on those. I bought 13 of those at 35 bucks a piece. Now in this last one, these were $25 a piece. They sat there for a month during that sale. Nobody wanted to pick them up. So I felt bad, so I picked them up. <laughs> and, oops, on the amps on this, oops. Uh, on the amps on this, we have 5.2 amps at Pmax and um, what is it? 5.62 on short circuit. So 5.62 on a short circuit, which that's what we have short circuited. And 5.2, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4,
four, 5.4, and that's supposed to be a 5.62. So these are 190 watt panels and they're putting out a great output. So if we look on our voltage, let's connect the meter up here. And we have, oops, 39 volts. And we're supposed to get 36.6, 45.2 on um, open circuit voltage. So voltage at Pmax is 36.6. So we're getting a really good voltage on all these. Great voltage, great current off of these. So, and that's in the winter time when that sun's in the southern sky, probably at a 40 degree angle. And uh, we're gonna be producing a lot this summer. <laughs> So, but I really like the performance off these panels. So far, I've yet to have, in three, three and a half years, I've yet to have one go bad on me. None of them gone bad. So, great deal on these panels. I was going to buy new, but at the price of these things, I could buy four to seven of these for the price I'd pay for one brand new panel. And these will probably last me 15, 20 years. So even if they only last me 10 years at 35 bucks a piece, that's $3 and 50 cents a year. <laughs> that's not a bad investment. So just wanted to do that little video. You can um, pick up one of those DC, AC, DC amp meters to check your output on Amazon. They're all over the place. Just look for AC and DC amps. And they're probably about 30 to $38 for the cheap ones. So I actually got mine same day delivery. I ordered it in the morning. It was there in the afternoon. So hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. And hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed day.